All right, hey guys, here to describe the anaerobic threshold training. For the anaerobic threshold, that is the maximum amount of power that we can produce aerobically. So it's, it's a pretty hard run, but it's not fatiguing to the point where you can only do it for a short distance. So it's a, a, a longer run, but it's at the maximum amount of speed that we can still be producing the energy from the aerobic system. So again, it's a hard run, but it's not meant to be excessively fatiguing. Um, so what we need to do for this is the first week of the training. So in week one, um, day one of the anaerobic threshold training, we will do a six minute Cooper test. So the six minute Cooper test consists of, you need to find a track. So a, a normal track is 400 meters in distance around one lap. So our goal is to set a timer and at the beginning you just start running as hard and as fast as you can. So we are trying to cover as much ground as possible. So you set the timer and run as hard and as fast as you can around the track and then you need to calculate how far around the track you are able to travel in the six minutes. So again that's run as hard and as fast as you can for six minutes around a track and then find the distance that you were able to travel. Again, most tracks, traditional tracks, are 400 meters per lap. Um, so for example, if you're able to travel three laps, that would be uh, 1,200 meters. So once you find the distance that you're able to travel during the six minute Cooper test, all you need to do is plug in that number, so that distance in meters into the Excel spreadsheet that is named AT Calculator. So that should be in the email with the packet. Um, so you open up the Excel spreadsheet, you will put in the distance in meters into um, cell B2. So in cell B2, under distance in meters, all you have to do is plug in that number. Um, and once you plug that number in, the rest of the, and you hit enter, the rest of the form should populate itself. Um, so I have it all set up to calculate out what pacing you will use for each week for each volume of the prescribed anaerobic threshold. So for example, if you put in that you were able to complete um, the, so say you were able to complete an exact mile, so four laps in the six minute test, you would have a uh, max aerobic speed of 4.4 meters per second. Um, my anaerobic threshold speed would be four, and then my AT distance would be 1200 meters. And then in week one, under uh, five minutes, so in that first week, when I'm running for five minutes, I would be able to travel at my anaerobic threshold speed, um, I should be able to complete three laps. Again, my pacing would be 100 seconds per lap. So all you really have to look at is the red box. So the red box will tell you in week one, how fast you should be able to complete each lap. So you're trying to go based off of, of pacing. So you're gonna do um, a 100 second lap for five minutes. And again, in, if, you, if you calculate it out, that would be about three laps. Um, what I'm doing this phase or this, this um, off season is making that pacing get a little bit faster each week. So in week one, my pacing, again, if I had a 1600, if I was able to complete 1600 meters in the um, test, during the test, um, week one, my pace would be 100 seconds per lap. In week two, uh, it would be 97 seconds per lap. In week three would be 95 seconds per lap. And in week four would be 93 seconds per lap. So that just the pacing gets a little faster, a little bit faster, and a little bit faster. So again, your goal is the pace. Um, all you have to do is the test, plug in the number, and then find your pace. So again, week one, um, you're going to do five minutes worth of your pacing at um, whatever the pace is based off of your Cooper test. And then that, again, goes up week to week.